Hi folks, Jack Spirico here, uh, watering. Not really watering the way you would think though. This is actually pond water out of our uh, aquaculture system. And this area, you see all this straw we spread out, is uh, an area that we had the chickens work intensively. Our Freedom Ranger meat chickens were here about a week ago. And we really worked them hard to open this ground up. This is an area I haven't been able to get pretty much anything to grow. If you look just off to my left, it just poured rain. And uh, that's what everything looked like over here. With the rain, though, and the birds, we already have some native grasses coming up. But I went in and put a cover crop down. And uh, we're actually killing two birds with one stone here. I'll show you where the water's coming from in a second. But it is coming from the ponds. And I put down a cover crop. I've got alfalfa, semi-dormant alfalfa, white landino clover, some vetch, some daikon, and some white caius oat in this mix. And it's actually spread in some other parts of the property that we're treating a little different for a comparison. But what I'm doing is I'm soaking it down with the water from the system. And if Joe can come in here, we'll show you exactly how that's being done. And it's part of how we design the system. And just over to my right is where the Urban Garden Showcase is going to be. And um, really it's more for that, but we're using it here right now. So what we've got right now is we just have a reciprocating uh, pipe with a hose bib on it, hook up a hose to it, and even though we're pulling water here, it's actually coming from the pump out of the lower tank. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use enough of this water to drop that tank by about 100 gallons. Once that tank's down by about 100 gallons, we're gonna bring 100 gallons of fresh rainwater into this system out of our, our collection tank where we just caught about 600 gallons of water. So what I'm trying to do over time is basically flush out the hard well water out of these ponds and get it, you know, mostly fed by rain, but I've only got 600 gallons from the first rain we got since we put the catchment in, so uh, not ready to do that yet, not ready to completely flush it through yet, but uh, we'll pause the camera here, we'll come back and uh, pick up where we left off. All right, so uh, this will give us a chance to give you a better look at what we've done. Um, you can see we have the uh, gutter, it's a 30 foot long gutter, um, plumbed into the tank and there's actually a baffle valve that allows the tank to overflow should we actually get 1550 gallons or more water in there and we just got a three quarter inch hose bib fitting down here we've got the hose run down to the lower tank we've got two feet of rise that this thing's sitting on here plus the little bit of slope that we have plus the tank in the ground and this will give you a better look at the whole system as we walk down through here so you can see the, tank, the tanks are low because we turned off the pump while we were running the water out into the field. But this pipe right here brings the water back to this tank for now. It overflows there and I can turn that and I just turn that up a little bit to hold a little more water in this tank as we're replenishing it. You can see how that works here. If I want to hold less water, I can drop water. Or in this case, I want to hold a little more. So I can just turn that up, and that determines exactly how much water I'm able to hold in the tanks. Down here you can see, and I'm going to turn the water off so that you don't have the noise in the camera. You can see we've really dropped the level of this tank an awful lot. And uh, there's our rainwater coming in. So all we're going to do now is just let that bring the level of the tank up to about right there. That's where we try to hold it. And uh, people were asking about this on the air. All this is, this comes off the pump here. This is the pipe that takes the water up there. And this just, just provides oxygenation, just disturbs the surface. We have it hitting this rock right here with these holes in it to put a lot of oxygen into the water and keep the water highly oxygenated. But that's really it, that's the whole system. And uh, we'll get it filled back up, but uh, you don't need to sit here and watch water fill. We will show you real quick, we'll walk around kind of our control in this little experiment. So we had the chickens there, we put down the cover crop mix, chicory, uh, plantain, clover, vetch, semi-dormant alfalfa, exactly the kind we need for this area. 
say, uh, some, uh, some daikon, exact same seed mix uh, is over there, but here we've soaked it with pond water and the chickens work the ground first. Over here, we just have some places where nothing's really growing well. We have some, you know, disturbed soil. So we've done the same thing over here, and what we'll do is we'll make sure we keep, you know, if it gets dry out, we'll keep this irrigated at the same level. And I just want to see the difference between how this comes up versus how that comes up, because that's, of course, got pond water, and the chickens had worked the ground where this is just cover crop, irrigation, and straw. And uh, we'll see how that works out. And uh, we'll catch up with you. Probably try to get out another video or two this week.